That's oh, and an applause, well-deserved applause for, for the 12-year-old youngster <laughs> who decided the match in favor of the Chengdu Pandas. And we have board one and the team captain with us, Lee Chow. How do you see your student finishing that last game? That was the critical moment in the match. I think that boy is a uh, like lucky boy. <laughs> <laughs> lucky boy. <laughs> yeah, you know that year also my student coming and uh, this year we changed mm -hmm. and uh, I think this choice is uh, right. And uh, I was so happy and our team of of course was so happy but you know like uh, Wang Yue like Zhao Jun maybe they are feeling not so good uh, like me and maybe last yesterday we played not so good so I was so happy today we can win yeah. And you know, for Zhang Di in particular, he played a great game. As a coach, he must have been very proud of his first round game with Zavin on Triassi, Yes. Except for the blunder, of course. Mm -hmm. But how do you help him in between games to change his mindset, to you know, calm down, get ready for the other tough players he had to play? Actually, we don't told him so much because I think he's a boy and he can't control himself. So I think to, I just told him to do him best. Do him best is the yeah. only way, yes. Yeah, and um, for you personally, you said you had a tough day yesterday, mm -hmm. and today was much better. Yeah. How did you feel about your play today? Uh, I think yesterday I was so nervous. Nervous? <coughs> was it the esports e environment? It was your first time competing in this kind of atmosphere? I think the point is first time to, to, to listen to music and uh, like uh, headphones. I feel not so good, and uh, you know, sometimes I, I move my mouth not so. Not like in my in my country, I don't know why, but uh, did you use the mouse that yeah. was provided, or you haven't brought your own? Yeah, sometimes mouse. you know, nervous. Maybe if I want to put rook on c8, sometimes maybe I will put rook on c7. So sometimes I'm afraid of this. So that's why I play a little bit slowly than before. Mm. Yeah, you were afraid of mouse slips, and and that means you're also not used to listening to music. You're and mm. when you're playing at home online, you don't listen to music or you don't wear headphones. Yeah, 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 of course. What music were you listening to during the uh, event? Uh, I, I, I don't know some music and... Uh, Did you uh, choose white noise or classical music? You had to not pick classical something. music. I don't know how to say that, like popular music. Oh, and, yeah. a pop playlist, I yeah. like that. Some Anything that I've heard of <laughs> or no? Sorry? Have I heard of the music or no? Is it, is Chinese musicians? No, no, no. no. Don't have them, don't have any words. I'm afraid of maybe we have some uh, yeah. oh, yeah, instrumental yeah. music. Yeah. Maybe the cinematographic playlist yeah. that we Got heard. It. Hans Zimmer. Got it. I thought maybe you know listening to some pop stars or something, but mm. get that no, no words, no any words. Yeah. So uh, you know, next up after this is going to be the matchup between St. Louis and mm -hmm. Baden Baden. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put you in a tough spot here. Who do you predict to win that matchup? I think uh, St. Louis. Yeah. Yeah. I feel Karana played very well and. Uh, Actually, yesterday we have some time to some we have some chance to win, but uh, I'm afraid of if we can win, we also will lose to with Zhang Luis mm. because Carolina like both. Wow. <laughs> oh. Very complimentary words of five. I mean, of, okay, he's number two in the world. He's of course very yeah, strong. Of course. And so, how do you reflect on your weekend here? Sorry. How do you reflect on your weekend here? How did you you know of course third place? Uh, wanted to do a little bit better perhaps, but have you had a good time outside of the chess? Um, actually, yesterday our team very very sad, and after after the game, and we all sleep <laughs> sleep oh. until ar around like eleven o'clock and uh, something like this. But we are very very sad. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense because that was the match that decided whether you can play for the title, mm -hmm. and it was so close. So yesterday's match we are referring to the Chengdu Pandas versus the Baden Baden Snowballs. It was a tie break after the rapid part, 8-8, eight, eight, and then it went down to the wire, 8-8, eight, eight, then the blitz being tied until the very end and board but one deciding. But I think our chance not in tie break, our chance like, mm. you, you know, Wang Yu's game, he have very, very yeah. <coughs> good position, but finally he lost. And I think if we go into tie break, we will lost. Because mm. I know Dan Ching and the uh, mayor, yeah. uh, the comp, is rating very, very high. Yeah. Uh, but you know, usually we don't play so much on chess account because internet problem and uh, you know three minutes plus one th that point is we we shoot the last one second to 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 put mouse so we we not so good on this so that's why three minutes plus one i think maybe not so good for us maybe three minutes plus two is better mm -hmm. yeah yeah so that's why i think if we go into tiebreak we will lose yeah have you played blitz tiebreaks before in any of the tournaments you've competed in no 
was the first time you've ever had a blitz tie break. Even over the boards. Sometimes, sometimes we, we we will play some um, blitz blitz chess in chess.com, but yeah. uh, you know very very relaxed. But <laughs> <laughs> when we're playing, very very nervous. And uh, Zhao Jun told me sometimes his his hand like this. He can't <laughs> control his hands. Yes. Having this in <coughs> mind, were you worried that the last game that was going on, Zhang Di, if, if mm -hmm. he makes a draw in that end game, it would have once again led to a blitz tiebreaker? Were you worried about that scenario? Uh, n actually, today better than yesterday, I think. And uh, we we think if we t if today we go into tiebreak, maybe better than mm -hmm. yesterday. Yeah, because you know, yesterday actually we have in tiebreak actually we have some chance, but uh, in my mind, our real chance in no rapid. No, yeah, in rapid, yes. Well, I have a question for you about what you do back in uh, Shangdu. So can you tell people about your school and mm -hmm. the students that you work with and what you're trying to do uh, in chess? Actually, we, uh, me and Wang Yue, we make a chess club and uh, we teach two levels kids. Uh, first, uh, we, we have pro, some, some, some player like Zhang Di and uh, uh, some grandmaster, Xu Yang Yu and uh, Lei Tingjie. Uh, of course, <coughs> after some training, they will go into <coughs> national team mm -hmm. and uh, the other part we training for some kids I mean they don't know how to play chess and uh, in Chengdu we have around like uh, uh, 10 <coughs> 1,000 mm -hmm. kids something like this Wow yeah wow. Uh, of <laughs> course we of course we can't teach every right, but right, yeah but we have around like uh, 50 coaches yeah wow. and uh, Wang Yue is the manager and he uh, we we train our coach and our coach train the kids. Yeah, yeah, I mean like this. And so, with all of that coaching, does mm -hmm. that leave you much time to play chess of your own, or are you just mainly coaching these days? Uh, actually, this year I have a baby, so. Oh, congratulations! Yeah, congratulations. yeah thanks. <laughs> so that's why um, I think we, I don't have enough time to focus on chess. Uh, of course, I I will improve them, but not improve improve myself. So. Uh, maybe after some, maybe one year or two year, and uh, my kids grow up, and uh, maybe I will focus on chess again. Yeah. Will he or she be a future she, chess she. champion? Sorry. Will you teach her chess? Yeah, of course. Girl? Yeah, I will teach her. Will you be her coach, or you make Wang Yue? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. We, of course, first step by step, yeah. and the first let her. Teach, um, teach from the other coach, yeah. and then if he have some, if she have some talent, and I will teach her. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's nice. What do you think were some of the critical moments in this match? Uh, you probably did not have much time to look at the other boards. Mm -hmm. So, in terms of your four games, which mm -hmm. were some of the critical moments in your games? If you can bring up some of those I positions. I think uh, game three, I played so well, and uh, oh, we love that game. Hmm. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we were really enjoying the positional bind you had at first, uh, but then the sacrifice that you had was yeah. was pretty great. But you know, uh, game three and game four, I both sacrificed the pieces, and yeah. finally yeah. I win. I was so I was so happy. Is it because after yesterday the queen takes c8 move? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I saw it. Yeah. But but I miss uh, b5, b5, b8, and nice c5. Nice five, five. Nice, yeah, yeah. yeah, this kind of idea. Yeah. But I mean, I put you in the mood to sacrifice pieces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, okay, around here, we were talking about the position. Black's mm -hmm. a little bit cramped, but did you feel like you were, uh, you know, the driver's seed were pushing an advantage here, or did you think that black was okay? But uh, actually, this game, in my mind, I, sh I want to play some slowly, mm -hmm. and uh, like position, position no style, and yeah. uh, so that's why I changed knight and the b4. And uh, he played the G6, right? Yeah. Yep. I played A4. And on Q here, I don't know what happened, but I think A5 is a miss. In my mind, it's a mistake, but I don't know computer how to say. Because maybe he can play something like Knight 6 and if A5, B5, and the close the position. I'm afraid of this by playing, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, but this piece is not very. Yeah, but you know. Uh, I play Slav sometimes, and uh, sometimes we'll be going to this kind of position, and it's kind of position should be okay for black, I think. Of course, slightly better for white, but uh, maybe not enough win. So mm -hmm. I don't know after 96 how to play. <laughs> yeah, you, you just have more space, so it's easier for white to play, yeah, but maybe yeah. it's nothing so concrete. Mm -hmm. But So you think A5 was already a big mistake because it opened up the B5? Not a big, uh, a big, big problem, I don't know. But after that, I uh, I have simple way to, to, to push, yeah. 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 And 
I was thinking here actually as well, maybe taking on B4 is a mistake because we'll uh -huh. you can play a move like yeah, yeah. D8 first. Probably, right? probably, yes. Yeah, I was, mm -hmm. um, you know, essentially what we're saying is that by playing pawn takes before you give an extra tempo mm -hmm. because uh, you wouldn't want to take another rook on A5. Yes. So instead you have this situation where mm -hmm. you gain the tempo. Mm -hmm. And did you already hear, did you see the sacrifice on B6 coming? No, 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 no. no. But after <coughs> when, I, when I push E4, I saw he can play Queen E7, but yeah. I think I, I will play Knight C5. Yeah. Yeah, but finally, I think if I play, no, 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 not here. I mean here, Knight C5. Yeah. But I afraid of BC take and Rook B7, I missed Queen D6. And uh -huh. after that, I think maybe I will lost. You, you lost? lost? Yeah. D4 pawn is lost. Uh -huh. I don't know. Oh, because knight c5 is yeah. a, a nice little fork yes. happening. Mm. Yes. So that's why I changed my mind. I play queen d2. I think queen d2 is a good good move. And after queen d2, I saw he, maybe he will play bishop a6 and mm. come back and then c5. So that's why you see I play so fast yeah. because all in my mind. Yeah, no, and then the finish was beautiful. Uh, Yasser Serwan was uh, in the chat and he was loving it. Yeah, yeah. but but you know, uh, here I think maybe I have. I, I don't know if I don't play dc, I saw maybe I can play knight 6 uh -huh. And. Yeah, I, I was like King G7, I, I find Knight H5, but finally I wow. thought he can play King H8, Queen H6, Queen F8, and I don't know how to improve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's why I decided to play like wow. Safe. Yeah, can we just show that G takes H5 was not working? Yeah, G takes H5 doesn't work because yeah. no, I, I mean earlier when Knight oh. H5 yeah, check. It, same, but it never works. <laughs> it never works. Because we're don't coming right the for the yes. H7 pawn. Mm -hmm. Wow. So yeah, this was a really beautiful game, and we enjoyed the the way. Yeah, but but I think Queen 3 is a key move. Yeah. Yeah, but I think Queen E3, he should play something like Rook C8, and uh, I don't know, I will win a tempo or not. Actually, maybe Rook C8, then build up D3. Yeah, it's one of these, I was thinking yeah, yeah, yeah. these moves, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, I think he missed B7, this move. Yeah, B7 was very, very nice, yeah, yeah. because of the geometry of the board. If you take here, the bishop takes, and there's your Rook, mm -hmm. because your bishop also covers the square. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no checks. But here, yeah. this was all beautiful, and it's funny, I predicted you would play Queen E4 here. Every, every move is winning, but yeah, I said yeah. you'd play Queen E4. <laughs> it's a it. beautiful finish. Yeah, yeah you understand me. <laughs> <laughs> very well. So the first nice. time meeting. But, uh, Li Chao, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to the Shangdu Pandas for coming here and playing so well, being such a great participant in the Pro Chess League. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to be back soon with the uh, the finals between yeah. St. Louis Archbishops and the Baden-Baden Snowballs.